I apologize for not being here with you in New York City. My wife is ill and unable to travel. Thank you for joining us in this commemoration of 20 years. I say commemoration, not celebration. 20 years ago, I predicted Fire's life as 10 years, the maximum time, surely, that would be needed to solve the free speech due process problem on campus. But no mission accomplished plaque just yet. We've done everything right. We have a Cracker Jack staff, competent boards of directors and advisors, generous financial support, yet the need for a campus civil liberties group remains acute. Why? Why is the battle for free speech and due process not yet won? One, there's the rise of the administration and bureaucratic power, the decline of faculty power on our campuses. Two, the consequential increase in the number of bureaucrats. Every dean needs a deputy. Every deputy needs an assistant. Hence, we have more administrators than professors in American higher education. Three, closely related, there is a decline in tenured faculty. There's more adjuncts, and that means less courage and more fear and cowardice on the part of the faculty. Four, there is a failure of duty by boards of trustees. Boards now operate on the slogan, just raise money and shut up. Five, there's been a takeover on the campuses by the PR types. College presidents today, believe it or not, rarely write their own speeches. It's written by the PR office, and naturally it's drivel, pablum, idiocy that comes out of those pens. Six, and this is the most disturbing factor, there's been a decline in the number of students prepared to fight for their own freedom, an increase in those seeking, quote, safe spaces, escaping challenges in the real world. And so here we are still. We have not yet reached the promised land, to quote Martin Luther King Jr., but we will. I hope I'm around to see it. That's a dinner I will attend. We're all essential in this battle liberals, the conservatives, the libertarians. I thank you all for your kind attention to my remarks and for your continued support of FIRE. Thank you. <laughs>